Once again, shouldn't have to tell you what to do. Leaving his links in the description. Bye. Yes, this is an actual tutorial, an actual tutorial on how to get better on Zim Apex mouse and keyboard on console. Yes, an actual tutorial. Anyway, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch. All links will be in the description. I'll be live streaming on that, so yeah. So we're gonna be focusing on more the PC side of mouse and keyboard, not the console side, because similarly, you wanna recreate what they do so number one, you need to find a really good grip, but there are three basic grips you really wanna do. There's a palm grip, there's the claw grip, and then there's the fingertip grip. And I'll show you each pro player who uses all of them. Bolo, the young prodigy, uses the palm grip. TSM Achieve was pretty much the only pro player that I could find who uses this claw grip. And lastly, Spoit uses the fingertip grip like I do. He's not a pro player, but he really should be. He probably has the best aim out of anybody on PC at the moment. Now that you've found a good grip, you should really focus on your recoil control and your movement because you can't have good aim without recoil control, nor can you have good aim without your good movement. So whenever you're controlling recoil on mouse and keyboard, you want to use your fingertips to pull the mouse down instead of your arm. And I would also like to clear up the confusion on how many people ask me, what do I mean by use your fingertips to pull the mouse down instead of using your arm? Well, this is what I mean. In this clip right here, you can see me using my fingertips to pull down instead of my arm. I have a lower DPI and a high sense. So me using my arm really isn't that big of a problem, but you could possibly see how hard it would be using a, low, a higher DPI and a lower sense because it's what most mouse and key players do. You can see the problem with that, that could lead to jitter recoil and bad movement. Now that we've gone over recoil control, I really wanna focus on the movement aspect. I really wanna focus more on the crosshair placement. So when people, when I first see people who like normally new switch to mouse and key, they always aim at the ground instead of head level. When then I have to remind them in game to like actually aim up because it'll actually get them killed. No, this is one of the huge key points that I see on new mouse and cube players. A lot of new mouse and keyboard players I've seen, they all look like this. They have no idea how to use it and they all aim like this and they have no idea how to even just like play the game when it comes to them switching. This took me so long to do and it was so hard for me. Whenever you first switch, your aim and your movement is not going to be like this. It's going to be like the clip I just showed you. But I want you to learn how to take the time and actually learn how to use your crosshair and move your mouse and learn how to actually control your mouse. Now on the leaning aspect. In this clip, I will show you how I lean. I use left shift for left lean and then I use V for right lean. So I'm in this claw type motion when I have my hand on the keyboard. You really can't see it because my big ass hands are in the way but anything that feels comfortable to you, Q and E, the mouse buttons, just make sure you're able to lean on command. Don't just have it to where you can't really lean and you can't spam lean as fast as you can. Lean spamming is not good, but you should be able to lean on the fly without having to you know, really think about it. It should become muscle memory. You should be able to lean when needed, when needed to lean. You should be able to lean when not being able to lean. Now focusing on the movement part, like more of the movement part, I'd say a game that you really should play to focus on, you know, building your muscle memory with your fingers. I know you're going to hate how the sounds, but I suggest you play Fortnite. Fortnite, if you really think about it, all those buttons you have to press and memorize and the order of the build, like change your weapon, all that, and like do all that stuff in Fortnite. I, I'd say Fortnite would probably help you when it comes to movement with the keyboard and the mouse at the same time. Another key tip about mouse and key is your mindset. Just because you first switch and you think you're shit at it doesn't mean that you're always gonna stay shit. It takes time to get good at things. It, does, it doesn't take, you know, you know, you don't just switch to mouse and key and you're automatically bolo. Like you have to learn how to do each little thing. And that's why you're watching this video, right? To learn how to be good on mouse and key. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. A big shout out to my boy Shinobi Season over on SoundCloud for letting me use his music. Go check him out again. That's the homie. And all right, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Peace out.